Hello everyone, Omar32 here. I'm down with another jailbreak video for you on how to jailbreak your iOS 9.3.5 32-bit devices, meaning the iPhone 5 and older. Today I'll be jailbreaking my iPad 2, which is on 9.3.5 and has been for a very long time without a jailbreak. So let's just get to it. Type in Cydia Impactor in Google search, the first web page will open with four highlighted blue options for macOS, Windows, Linux 32-bit, and Linux 64-bit. For me, I'll click on Windows and then I'll wait for it to download. Once it's done downloading, we will extract it to the desktop and then we will type in Phoenix Pawn in Google search as you can see Phoenix Pawn. We'll click on the first web page and it will open and then we will click on the red download button. And once it's done downloading, we need to save the download IP to the same folder where City Impactor was extracted. Now we will open City Impactor and click on device, install package and choose the IPA we just downloaded. Type in your Apple ID and password and then leave it to do its thing. So since we've installed the IPA uh, over here, the Phoenix Pawn IPA, I'll just show you some proof that this is an uh, iPad 2 with 9.3.5 on it. Let me just zoom in so you can see over here. As you can see, it's version 9.3.5. This is a 32 gigabyte iPad 2. So let's just go back to the home screen and just focus. And then if we tap on the Phoenix Pawn app, it will say Untrusted Developer. So just click on Cancel, you go to the Settings, General, and then go to the, scroll down over here and click on Device Management. Click on your respective Apple ID, which will show instead of my Apple ID, and then click on Trust, and then Trust again. It will say trusting and then it will change to delete app that means the app is already trusted and verified so if we tap on the ipa icon we can just flip the ipad over here so you can see it the ipad 2 comma 2 is not jailbroken so prepare for jailbreak and here are the terms and conditions so just click on accept and then dismiss and proceed with the jailbreak I don't know if you can see that proceed with the jailbreak and then begin installation and it says offsets found and devices supported so use provided offsets and then running the exploit. So the iPad has rebooted and let's just swipe out where is Cydia? Uh, the developers said that it might not work the first time around and as you can see when I search for Cydia there's nothing so we're just gonna go over to Phoenix Pond and try again your iPad is not jailbroken so let's prepare for jailbreak accept dismiss proceed with jailbreak and begin installation and use provided offsets. Installing Cydia. I'm just showing you the whole process so if you face such a dilemma you won't get baffled. As you can see the first time around it did not install Cydia and we're trying for the second time around. Let's just wait for it and done and let's just leave it
so the iPad has rebooted let's check if Cydia has been installed and there it is finally for 9.3.5 we've got Cydia let's just tap on it let's see Cydia in all its glory on a 9.3.5 32-bit device mainly this iPad 2 let me just focus over here and as you can see an iPad 2 comma 2 iOS 9.3.5 Cydia 32-bit and there we go thanks everyone for watching this jailbreak is a semi untethered jailbreak which means if you reboot this device or this device switches off what you need to do is click on the Phoenix Pond app again and then proceed with the jailbreak instructions that we have just done again every time you reboot or you shut down your iOS device this is a complication with the jailbreak uh, this is uh, by no means a problem with the developers uh, they did the best they could and thanks for watching everyone this was on March 32 with another jailbreak video haven't done these in a very long while tap like if you like this video subscribe if you want to see more of this content and peace out guys